What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, yep. I don't know. <laughs> it's a crazy world there, Mr. Sweet. Welcome to the Jamby Show once again. Uh, ooh, my co-host, uh, Ryan, is here. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, Figment of your happen. imagination. Yeah. You ever watch when you can't make it and you watch the show? <laughs> How do you been liking the entries? That kind of, kind of I'll throw something, you know, at you, like where you're at. Have you noticed that? Uh, like, lately. if you're not here, I just make some shit up where you're really at. Oh. Uh, Ryan is off. He is getting his butthole size for bigger dildos. Oh. So, so, if you haven't watched it or paid attention, there's some good <laughs> ones in there. <laughs> um, haven't been doing anything good. <laughs> so, uh, John Esposti, a uh, friend of mine, you know John? Um, and I he, see the name around all back over. Back when you played at Pioneer and you're around at my parents' house, he was always there. Anyway, oh, okay. he's going to be uh, joining us to fill in here and there when you're not available. So we Sweet. have, uh, yeah, we're going to have another. And then uh, every once in a while, we'll have a threesome. Group hug in the shower tonight! Or not! Whoa! Woo! But uh, John is hilarious. Uh, you guys will get along great. Cool. Um, he knows who you are. Um, oh, yeah. So <laughs> don't get big hit. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, John's not here yet. He was supposed to start last week with us, but um, he uh, injured himself at the lake. And uh, I right, thought it was his right. back, but apparently he uh, tore his bicep. Oh, geez. Or tricep. That's, Some sort doesn't of doesn't sound fun. There's a sep involved. Yeah, that sounds painful. Yeah, so uh, he sent me a picture of his this him laid laid up. I I believe you, man. <laughs> I believe you. So uh, when he uh, we'll wish him healing fast and yeah, uh, man, and then, heal uh, quick. Yeah. So um, and I decided we should shop around for uh, lucky uh, people to be guest hosts because we yeah. do have four chairs. Yeah, man. So we have one in, open chair. So um, we're going to have next week, and we will announce it before next week. Uh, it is on order. It's already been ordered. Is a phone for texting. So we'll get text messages now. So the people out there, you want to text me or Ryan or John and just be like, you can beat us up if you want. You can debate us. You can say whatever you want. And yeah, we'll man. read it on the air. And... Whatever you, if you put down your name, we will gladly read your name and where you're from, and it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. And when I'm with friends, I like to have fun, 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 fun. We'll get to, you know, see what uh, people have to say about you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I already know what they say. Gonna be like, <laughs> I can't wait to read them. Um, and I, I invite uh, criticism or or shit talk. Yeah, man. If you, you know, if you're a Democrat and you want to just give your opinion of your butthole. See, Marky Mark's look, very tight butthole. But your look is the loosest butthole I've ever seen. <laughs> you're welcome to, to text that. We will read that also. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, shout outs. Also, uh, you know, Mike Sloat's uh, little band he's got going, uh, Chrome Attic, will be playing in Walnut Creek on October 12th at the ret Retro Junkie in Walnut Creek. Nobody's going to Walnut Creek. Mike, nobody's going to Walnut Creek. Um, <laughs> good luck there. But if you happen to be down there. Yeah. Uh, if you're down in Walnut Creek, why would you be? But if you're down in the area, go see uh, Chrome Attic down at the Retro Junkie. And October 28th, Shady Oaks in Santa Rosa, all ages Halloween Fest, you like Halloween. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you get all geeked out every fucking Halloween. Oh, hell yeah, man. You and Wendy with your fucking... Dress it up, man. Theme out. You guys yeah. always go theme costumes and shit. What are you going to be this year? Yeah, I know you got your shit picked out. <sighs> we really haven't talked about that. No way. No way, yeah. And we got some good parties to go to, too, so... Uh, gosh, I got to get it together, man. I don't know. I've got, like, 50 different costumes at the house, so... Most of the time, it's oh, do I want to add to something or do I want to just freaking pull something out and love your butt? 
Yeah, on my butt. Yeah. No, I know. I I've seen the pictures over the years. Yeah. Yeah. You, you like the the leather with the, the, you, you, when, you, I, when you, I go as a bear. Weird, when man. I go as a bear. No, <laughs> you go as a bear every fucking year at Big Bear Weekend oh. at fucking Guerneville. You're up there. There's that's when you flourish. You're yeah, with your shirt there. off, yeah. and your hair flowing in the fucking yeah. wind, nipples popped. <laughs> You're all about that life, man. <laughs> um, the this now. just in. No. Berkey is still gay. I just had to throw that in oh, there. Every show, allegedly. Um, <laughs> thank you. Oh, we have hit uh, 100 subscribers. Sweet. Are you excited about that? You should be. Oh, that's I did all the work. You never I but know. Never fuck me. Um, no, uh, but good job. So uh, we're just, uh, we're moving. People, thank you, everybody, for... Your loyal support, please share. Please keep spreading the Jambi. Jambi vision is life uh, yeah, while we're here on this earth. Um, so uh, thank you for that. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I got yeah, some I'm, cool, I'm all for it, man. Cool, she's at right there. Um, got some entertainment news. Uh, you heard Danny Masterson may do the book at him for uh the rape the rapists. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. rooster. Poor rooster. <laughs> oh, Danny. But um, 30 years. 30 years he got him. Damn. Yeah. And uh, it's... um. Well, I now guess... Now they're... You know, you do the crime, you're going to do the time. This... <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah, In yeah. today's new world... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe. maybe. But... Um, yeah, right. Did that blow you away at all? Or were you a big Danny Masterson fan? Or... Well, I... You know, it happens, you know, and then you hear about these it guys. Happens. Rape happens. Yeah, Ryan. it does. And, and it's sad. It's really sad. And, and you know, I, I'm i not for it. <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by by Ryan Sweet. No. I, rape I, happens. I'm not for it. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> so anyway, off of that, I guess, uh, old Ashen Kutcher. And uh, Mila Kunis, um, they are taking some heat because they wrote letters of, you know, support, support, and so, like you know, in good character for Danny while he's he was on trial. So people are like, oh, Cal, can you support a rapist? Of course, that happens in today's world. Um, fuck, they didn't know that side of them. I don't think. No, they just that was their best buddy, man. Yeah. That's their the guy. They were on the show for fucking whatever. 10 years uh, working with them and then on the ranch another fucking five years, six years. So I can see writing a letter on someone's behalf. Absolutely. And, you know, you might not know, you know, uh, you could be some fucking cult leader. <laughs> weirdo. I don't know. Do you, do you, do you want, want some of my pee? <laughs> yeah. Or? No, I don't want to drink none of your fucking roofy ass. Um, but so then it got deeper that back in the day kutcher um there was a serial killer down in los angeles and kutcher had a date a really pretty girl who he met you know danny circle and all this and yeah, so he man. went to put he went to pick her up on the date on the way to this big hollywood party and he walks in and there's the gal laying on the floor in a pool of fucking blood she's oh, fucking God. dead murdered fucking what just murdered so, I remember hearing about that. This is a young Ashen Kutcher. Now, this is the story he says, and this is what everybody said, and it was actually true. Um, he said he came in, and, and then what? Instead of calling nine one one, but you know, being young, he just did the old step backwards slowly out the room. I and don't the touch F out of dodge. Yeah, man. And I'll head, and he headed to the party, and went went to the party, but he did call from there and say you know hey he just was freaked out but um turns out it was not him it was a serial killer they caught him and he admitted to killing that gal so but uh there's some ladies still in that circle that all of a sudden are coming out of the woodwork saying we know your dark secret ash and i'm like fuck there might be some more shit to this uh dilly whopper i don't know if like Matt Brady's been my best friend and Sean Burke. They're about close in there. Elder out. I would know if they were fucking rapist. 
Because I would be. I the, would hope so. Yeah. I'd beat the crap out of them if I, you know, but because yeah. you're that close to somebody. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, were they that close to Masterson, or were they just kind of like we work together, we party some, you know, here and there? But I, I think they were all super tight, and there's a, there's some, uh, there's some rugs to be pulled back and uncovered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. That's, uh, yeah. You never, you, never you, know, you Ryan. Never know who you're he hanging could out be with. The killer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see that uh, F-35 stealth fucking crash? <laughs> Did you see the, the video of the, the farmer that heard it? It was a horrible sound. And I heard the, the loud screeching sound. And I said, oh my goodness. Then I heard a boom. And I said, my goodness. I said, the plane flying mighty low. So the, the thought came to me, I said, well, it might have not a better plan to lose them. I, I hope it wasn't some, something come out of space. <laughs> oh, God, I, this guy's going up and viral. Oh, my God. A little it's bit fucking of that. hilarious. That oh, Jesus. Fucking was great. But you know, you heard why it went down, right? What, what the what the claim is? You heard what the claim I, is? I didn't know they came up with a claim yet. I thought they were yeah. trying to explain it. So. No, I think it was in the Washington Post or something. I think it was this morning or yesterday morning. They said that they, they said they... The, the pilot bailed out because um, of weather. That is, I, I heard crickets there. Ridiculous yeah. fucking answer. Yeah, they seen. said they said it was They're, because of weather. It's like the government's like getting so lazy, or they've lied so many times, and they 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 can't come up with any more good ones. I know. Like, oh, it's crash because of weather. We can't fly yeah. in weather. Yeah, I mean, Never. That's, could you imagine like a you know seven forty seven? You know, you're up at thirty thousand feet. Yeah. All of a sudden, you see the pilot come walking by with a parachute. You're like, "What the hell?" Is going on? Oh, sorry, guys, we got some weather coming up. I'm bailing out. <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah. Fuck. You would have to like postpone wars. Like during the middle of war, you'd be battling, and all of a sudden yeah. the rain would start falling. Like, okay, big horn. I'm out. Everybody just go relax until we get drier weather. Yeah. Then we can start killing each know. other again. That is the dumbest excuse. Bad weather. So now you you gotta you gotta look up this video that happened. This, oh, I've seen. I saw a you, glimmer. You a glimmer. It, it was actually that. it was a news. It was a newscasting. Yeah. And it was this black gentleman, and yeah, he I was talking him. about it. He was going, it made this sound. It was like, woo <laughs> I, Yeah, I saw that. It was, was, laughing it was my fucking ass hilarious. Oh, my God. You got to see that one. If you folks haven't seen it, go go search it. You'll find it on YouTube. <laughs> $80 million. That's a lot of plane. Yeah. That, that, we never, this doesn't happen. We never have these things happen. And then the fucking thing went on autopilot <laughs> for another 80 fucking miles after the dude ejected. And then they have the call on 911 to somebody because he like walked to this guy's house and after he fucking, you know, got out of his shit and was like, hey, call 911 because the guy saw the plane crash and he saw this guy fucking Man. eject out and land in his backyard. And so he's calling 911 and goes, he goes, yeah, guy fell in my backyard <laughs> from the blade. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you hear the guy go, here. He goes, hi, uh, this is Captain So-and-so. I uh, need medevac and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, and he's like, I'm at this guy's house. <laughs> I just walked over. <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> it's like, ooh, we're just ready. We're ready for Russia or China, I think, any mm. of them, because – we're uh we're just fucking on it right now. Well, they are saying with, the, sharp with this fifth generation ball. that there's nothing else that can compete with it right quite yet except weather anomalies. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> well, you know, Ryan. Everything today is about the weather. Um, that fucking global warming is <clears throat> pretty much stopping us from doing anything. And yeah, it's all according uh, to them. Yeah. <laughs> It's, oh man, and people are like, yeah, it's true. It's global <laughs> warming. Um, well, it, it, yeah, we might be in a warming spell, but you know what's interesting is if you look over the millions of years that they've been studying glacial stuff and figuring stuff. So, so global warming from when? 
200 years ago, 2000 years ago, 20,000 years ago. Yeah. Um, you know, so what, what are we, what are we counting it the for? The people Cause, that Because it gets warm and then it gets cold and then it gets warm. <laughs> it's just, well, welcome, welcome to your planet, folks. Yeah. The earth is basically always has and always will do whatever the fuck it wants. And if people think that there's such thing as global warming and we're all going to die, how many times have they said, given us a timeline of our demise? From global warming, from John Kerry to Al Gore to the AOC, they're all, oh, we only have this many years. Then we surpass that many fucking years and we're still here and nothing's different. And they still, then they set up a new timeline. You can't just keep fucking resetting a timeline and saying, and frightening the fuck out of idiots because if you believe in global warming, you are a fucking idiot. I don't care. My friends, they believe in it. You're fucking idiots. I'm not even going to pull up any punches. Well, I'll say this this summer was warmer than normal. I so think. was your butthole, Ryan, but it doesn't well, make no, it that's any always nice better to go to. But I, you know what I'm going to say is <laughs> it, it was warmer than normal, but you know what? It, it is what it is. And, and yes, if we're on a global warming spree, then then eventually we'll, it'll all freeze again. And, you know, it'll we'll be in a... That's the Freezing. thing. What if we all? Yes, yeah. you know, so what? That's what happens. So with what this would world. every? Let's say we wake up tomorrow and the temperatures drop like twenty degrees overnight, and they're like, "Oh shit, what's going on?" And all of a sudden, we are in a fucking another ice age. Do I get to slap everybody individually or kick them in the nuts and go, yeah. "Oh, where is so glow too hot here, huh?" When your fucking dick is stuck to your front porch, is <laughs> fucking sagging, you know it. It's that could happen, and people. Then what would they say? What would you say, Ryan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking with, know, do you? Stay, Don't fucking know. Go put on a jacket, like I tell my kids. You cold? <laughs> go put on a jacket. So yeah. Hey, that global warming thing. We were wrong. <laughs> I know, just bundles, <clears throat> bundles now. It's all about the bundles. Um, yeah, we're down to like four types of fucking people left in this world. You got people of faith, the believers. They actually, I people have come up to me, you just seen the cross I wear, and they're like in line and at Safeway and go, "Oh, you're a believer." I'm like, I'd never heard of it in that reference before. I'm like, this is some new world shit. Believer. I'm in a category, I guess now. Which is fine, but it's it was weird. Yeah, it's like you know, uh, it it was almost like <laughs> I'm in a different race or something. Yeah. Um, but and then there's the atheist, uh, you know, just blank. They believe they just die and then they are in the dark. Okay, and then <laughs> there's the clueless, waiting for ET and still looking for Bigfoot, uh, <laughs> and uh, the we came from monkeys people. Um, and then there's your fourth type of people, the pure evil, New World Order, Satan worshippers, etc. That is very prevalent now, more so than in the history of the fucking world. Did you see they're taking down statues? <laughs> not a, This is not that evil. Well, it is kind of evil. So they want to take down uh, Christopher Columbus, George Washington, um, some other important motherfuckers. Um, yeah, yeah, down down in Washington, you know the statues they have these beautiful statues of our forefathers and shit. Yeah, I guess they because they were involved in some slave something something. Now we're just taking down statues of our fucking forefathers because somebody's you all know, <laughs> well. It says back then, you know, slavery happened, right? So it was horrible. And but if you look at all cultures, they all had some sort of slavery. How do you think those freaking pyramids got built you know trust me that wasn't all those people that lived there was well, everyone yeah, that they yeah. enslaved and look at the roman empire the romans all, all enslaved they, the jews yeah any, it, anyone they conquered they the, enslaved all of them the and, thing is and, so, and we're so free now and it's beautiful and yeah we had this dark past but you know it was acceptable back then and it was known and people were all right and eventually they're like you know what this isn't all right but that doesn't mean we need to make reparations for every single person that something bad happened to. Because there were black people that owned slaves. There were, uh, yeah, famous people, you know, 
our forefathers, but that was acceptable back then. It wasn't that they were doing something that as a culture we mm. saw was wrong. As yeah. a culture, people go, oh, look, he's he's got 10 slaves. That's because he's rich and he's got a plantation or whatever, you know. And that's the way it was. But, um, you know, now we're like, hey, you got to... We gotta pay those guys, their families back. What's, oh my god! What's next? Do they go into the school libraries and take out the history books because they teach about finding America and yeah. the, our first president and our, you know, Lincoln and free all this stuff? I mean, I, of course, we'll never tear down Lincoln. You know, there'll be some group. Well, there's probably a group that doesn't like Lincoln. That would probably be the South. Um, back in those days. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, Lincoln was a, I just stumbled upon Lincoln, that knowledge in my own head. But wasn't Lincoln a Republican? Because <laughs> it, it was the Republicans yeah. that were against slavery, and it was the Democrats that were for it. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. And that's why yeah. they're evil to this day. So, if it's all the Democrats that were owning slaves back then, then maybe the Democrats should make the reparation. Is that how it goes? <laughs> That'd be a good point. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, they're I'm gonna just have, gonna throw that out. Democrats there. gonna have to make reparations. You know the motherfucking word. Yeah. Um, that word. <laughs> uh, just for being dumbasses for the last. Because look at where we're at. Uh, they're gonna talk about shutting down the government. They're very very close. They're gonna work yeah. through the weekend. Uh. Stocks are all down today, of course, because of that. People sure. are like selling, you know, sell, sell. Yeah. Um, you got, oh, the fucking border. Holy fucking. That's a sad state of affairs down there. Here, the bean names are here. <laughs> I, I don't think it's just no, it's Hispanic a, folk. I no, think they it's, had. A, it's everybody. They and, had and they all coming boat. up. From Venezuela, yeah, yeah. yeah, they had a guy who was a uh, border per uh, patrol guy. He was on the water, and these long ass fucking boats are coming up. And he goes, "Watch this." He goes, "Man, there's like twenty of these coming up, you know, to come to America." And he yell over across, you know, "Hey, what country?" And they're like, "Oh, Venezuela." The whole boat, you know, "What country?" Africa. And then another <laughs> boat. What country? Guam. I mean, you know, there's like thirty guys per boat. Yeah. Fucking every different country you can think of. And what has happened, and it happened before, Castro did this to us a long time ago and mm -hmm. flooded Miami uh, with his prisoners. He opened up and said, yeah, here, go, go to America. But he sent all his worst. There ain't sending us the fucking people that want to really work. And yes, yeah, some. Some want to come here yeah, yeah. and live the American dream, but a lot of them want to come here, rob, steal, rape, molest, and fucking murder. Because that's what they did back in the homeland. They don't want them. I saw a clip where a Mexican uh, construction guy was down by the border on working for Mexico, and he was kind of like building this little fucking wall thing. And they're like, hey, you build, help an American build a wall? He goes, no. He goes, this is for Mexico. He goes, we are we don't want anybody coming back over. <laughs> I ain't yeah, fucking getting it. I, I hear you. Why would, why would all these countries send all the fucking good people? The good people are staying back because yeah. now the country is nice and safe because we got them all. And it's 10,000 yesterday. 10,000. Yeah, I don't know how we can support that. I mean, we can't oh, even we can't. Look, look at how many people we got on the streets. Just you know, you know, vets, you know, and all these people. They have mental illness. They're all on the streets. We can't even help them, and they're they're U.S. citizens. You know, how can we expect? What do you say? Ten thousand yesterday. How how can we help another ten thousand people? And that's just yesterday. That was that's just, just yesterday. What we counted. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Not to say the other, you know, 5,000 that we didn't see, you know, but. And they're still coming. And yeah, I don't know. We got to tighten those They got walls, another though. train. Another train load <clears throat> is coming. All the boxes are fucking full. Because they're just, they see this train coming through Mexico and they don't care. It's speeding and they can die. They're jumping on this motherfucker. 
and boom, and it got a train ride right into a uh, fucking Texas. What they want to do, I was telling Gunner this earlier, is Texas is a red state. They're going to flood Texas with all the migrants, and then they're all going to try to turn Texas blue, and that will sh- secure a Democratic vote. And if they if they got Texas, it'd be very hard for us Republicans to even fucking get anything done. So. Because you can get a license or so security card pretty fucking easy in certain states. I think Illinois will give you, and then that gives you the right to vote. And the fucking Biden knows it and all. <laughs> Mayor Adams today, basically in New York. So Biden was there for a few days, right? Okay. Visiting. Basically does nothing. Mayor Adams wanted to meet with him because his city is fucking overrun with migrants everywhere flowing out onto the streets nowhere to go nobody's getting jobs it's just fucking mayhem down there new york is dead basically because of this problem and they're still coming in in bus loads because the bot the border's wide open as long as that border's open new york california chicago seattle that's they want to go to all the big cities san francisco they just want big cities so Joe's in fucking New York could just see what's going on for his own fucking eyes. They even work anymore. And he fucking ignores Mayor Adams the whole time. Just fucking ducks and dodges them. Goes out to dinner. It wasn't like he was busy. He had a couple dinner night outs. Couldn't take, couldn't take 10, 15 minutes to go to the uh, fucking Rosebud Hotel and see him all laying out in front. Couldn't do it. That's what I'm saying is that administration's fucking gone, man. And we're going to suffer badly, badly. Cause that border's not closing down. Fucking he sold, he's selling the fucking wall that was left the scrap metal for scrap metal that was left in stacks that Trump wanted. And the binder fucking Jean Pierre, what's her bucket fucking does not, nobody answers anything. It's frustrating as hell. Nobody will answer shit because they have no answers. What's your take on this, Ryan? <laughs> you know, it's a st- <laughs> it's a sad state of affairs. You know, I've watched. Uh, you know, three years ago we were in the black. You know, our we weren't uh, we didn't owe any money. We were actually making money as a country. You know, we we're doing well. Now we're what forty trillion dollars in debt. I mean. And I know a lot of that goes towards, you know, what happened with COVID and COVID was pretty shitty and, you know, people needed help. Yeah, you know, I, I get that. But we've been doling out money left and right. You know, there's a war going on. If you Did you hear about that war? Did you hear about that war going on? Yeah, Ryan, where is the money going? <laughs> where is going, that money going, it's Ryan? It's going other places. Could you elaborate where that money is going? What war do you I, speak I, of? I don't even think that anyone knows where that money is going. I don't even think the people that are giving the money out knows where it's going. What do you think about that? I think you got your head up your <laughs> keister, Joe Boo. No, they know where the fucking money's going. The bribery allegation, Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm Joe Boo. Mr. Mr. President. It, the, the, it's a fucking laundromat, man. The Ukraine is just bilking us dry. It's all for favors. It's all for backdoor bullshit that Joe's got set up, you know? And, but he's losing his fucking marbles. So <laughs> he, they can't put him out there too much because <laughs> he's just wandering around, you know, fucking no, who knows what he'll say, you know? Yeah. And I mean, it's they just had Zelensky here in New York, you know. Yeah. Wanting more money. After how many billions that we've already given, oh. you know? So Yeah. And then we just gave Iran six billion for five American hostages. Well, I think that was money of theirs they tied up. Well, yeah, we had they, a freeze just, on yeah, it, but they, I think they just kinda But Yeah, let them have their money back. 
Well, yeah, that's a bad idea. I, I You're agree. $6 billion yeah. to help with your nuclear program. <laughs> Compliments of Joe Biden yeah. and friends. And, and we got six people for it. Uh, no. Yeah. The world, six people. The world, six, six people. people. Yeah, I hear you. You know, if you go to Iran on a job, there's a pretty good fucking chance you might not return. I think they should have known that when they signed up. You know, you go over there as yeah. anything, a photographer. If you're from the U.S., you're like, oh, I'm just here to take pictures. Do you think they give two bucks? No. no. Oh, Medicin. I, I got that from uh, fucking, uh, what was that movie? Um, <laughs> the guys from South Park. <laughs> oh. Oh. The Amer yeah. When they're the fucking dancing little motherfuckers. The oh, marionettes. Man. Have you seen that one? No. No, I guess I missed out. You like South Park, right? Yeah, I like love okay. South Park. Yeah. You didn't see the movie they did where it's all um Marionette guys? Gunner, what's the what's that movie? We you like that one too. Uh the South Park with the Marionette guys where he's like, <laughs> give us a <laughs> signal. Remember? Ah oh, yeah. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> um so, America? Huh, Team America. Well, yeah. that, was, America, well, well, I remember, fuck yeah. I, I remember South Park, the movie. I mean, <laughs> Dirk, it's, Dirk, yeah, Dirk. <laughs> that was a sign. That so all the so they're going over there, yeah. and you know they're undercover, and all the Arabian people or the not Arabian, the Iranian people, they're like when they talk to like Durka, 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 Durka. Durka Allah, Muhammad Jihad. Bagala, Muhammad Jihad. Bagala, Muhammad Jihad, and Muhammad Jihad, Muhammad Jihad. Oh shit! Come on, Gary, act. You have the power. Bak, Dirk, Dirk, Allah. Dirk, Dirk, Muhammad Jihad. Haka Sherpa Sherpa, a Bagala. Oh, Dirk, Dirk, Dirk. It's fucking hilarious, dude. There's a sex scene, and she fucking shits on his chest in the sex scene. And it's a little, and they're marionettes, so they're little plastic poops that fall. It's fucking awesome. How you've not seen uh, this? Maybe, maybe I did see it once before, but you know, I just don't remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're in that age, you don't remember. So <laughs> what, bro? What are you talking about, man? Not in real life, Ryan. We know you might have seen that in that weird ass <laughs> shit you like in real life. Oh, hey. <laughs> but yeah, you got to see that. Oh, I yeah. well, it looks like a lot of good movies. Next on my Netflix. I don't know what all my friends watch, man. Every time I ask my friends, are you watching this? The only person who's ever seen some of the shit I've seen is Troy. But you guys watch some boring ass shit. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Gasaway watches golf and ESPN and football period like he doesn't watch movies at all you can give him a movie from like fucking you can say hey here watch this it'd be 16 fucking candles <laughs> from the 80s and he'd never see that shit before oh my god really? you're like oh wow that was funny or that was clever or whatever you would say about 16 yeah, candles yeah, yeah. um but you know what i'm saying he knows dick yeah all all y'all don't watch well i watch a lot of tv Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> so apparently. Must be nice Appar to be retired. Apparently, <laughs> I must watch too much. And talking about football, you know what's great is is I've had a chance to get back into high school football. Yeah, you yeah. Got, you, we got we got one of the one of the daughters is you know cheerleading. Oh so it's great. Friday night lights. Matter of fact, we're going to the game tonight. I was calling you creepy because <laughs> I Yeah. Well, because I'm like Tell him, can I go? Yeah, he's, he's, we got to hurry up, do it early because he goes to football games and he doesn't even have a fucking kid in the game. I go, that's no, kinda, no, we got a daughter who's like, cheerleading. He's you know? walking around looking at kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> Showing up at fucking girls' volleyball and shit what? by yourself. <laughs> so, your daughter is a cheerleader yeah, yeah. for who? For Windsor. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. so you're going to the Windsor game. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, that makes sense. Well, I know Megan, who I've been running into too is old Brad Mcnovich. Old Brad Mcnovich. Uh, yeah, his son's playing. He's he's playing good too. Good. Well, Brad was a good player. He's very uh, good linebacker for us back yeah. in the high school days. Um, real quick, debate time is coming up once again. I love debates. We had the last one, which was awesome. You probably didn't watch it. Did not because you're gay. But um, right now, Trump is at sixty percent. And he didn't even go to the debates. He's not going to this one either. Because why? The rest of it is the same old cast. You got big fat Chris Christie who just needs to put the sandwich down and retire. He's only there because he hates Trump. You notice that? It's, Every time he yeah. talks, all he talks about, he just shits on Trump the whole time he talks. It's like this is the only reason he's running. Just to be a guy up there to shit on Trump. Yeah. Right? I yeah. what you say you, Ryan? I yeah. What Ryan. You, if I ever watch one of these things, I'll let you I'll have a, a better. So they're opinion. gonna do they're gonna do it again. And uh it they're always fun. Um yeah. Hey, it's like we can hear now. Hi Ryan, I can hear you again. Um you see anything with uh Merrick Garland? Mm-mm. Oh, last week he was under scrutiny. They finally put the fucking needles to him. And this guy just, nobody will answer any questions on the Democratic side. Can you explain why, Ryan? Because it's fucking drove me nuts. No, I can't. <laughs> that's that's a deep answer. That That is deep. I mean, do you notice they don't answer for shit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's because they don't have an answer. You know, it's it's better to to not say anything. You know, and because then if you're saying stuff and it's bullshit, even when it looks then you ridiculous. get then you get called a lie, and then and then you got to go. Well, I guess I just won't answer because I don't have anything good to yeah. say. Like if I borrowed something from you and I didn't return it, but you knew I still had it, right? Yeah. And you know, it was like in my garage, and you knew it. Like when you come over, you fucking see it. And I never fucking say anything to you. And then every time you bring it up, I'm just fucking, I stall you out like Debo. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that would drive you nuts after a while. Yeah, right? yeah. That's just how I feel when every time they ask them a, just a yes or no fucking question, they won't say yes or fucking no. And nobody seems to give a fuck about it. it dry, you, you should be demanded to say, to answer the fucking question. Yeah. In a yes or no manner. Not a fucking beat around the bush. Or you know? answer your question with another question, you know? Yeah. Know. It's like, come on. And that's why that's why nothing ever gets done. You watch Sean Hannity or seen Sean Hannity, all his shows start out breaking news. And it's all great, but nothing ever comes to Sean Hannity's breaking news. You know, everybody's getting indicted. Everybody's so close to getting Hunter, getting Joe, and nothing happens ever. So, I don't know. Remember Hawaii? Apparently nobody else does because all of a sudden, all of a sudden that's not even talked about. I'm sure the people, no, are, I, I'm sure the people are still homeless and the children are still missing. Yes. But you, you saw that the Rock's donating some money. <laughs> <laughs> you should shut the fuck up about the rock and Oprah. And Oprah. <laughs> Don't even give me fucking. Well, you know what's started. funny is, is they go on there and they're like, hey, we want everyone to donate. Donate. Send your money. And yet they're both filthy, filthy rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they could like support the island easily just on what they they're making residuals. They could buy residuals. the fucking which basically Oprah did. Yeah. She bought it. That shit, you know, that shit wasn't fucking natural. Natural, my fucking ass. I, you know, it's, and, and yes, you know, bad things happen, and you know, I, bad things, <laughs> bad things happen. You know, man, thousands of children just sometimes <laughs> just disappear, and nobody knows why. And sometimes, and what you say earlier, rape happens sometimes. Rape happens, yeah. Look at Ryan's on a roll. <laughs> what the great commentary? Um, Navy SEALs found fifteen fucking children. In a storage container down by the docks. What good says you, motherfucker? That's good. That's good because you know, know. they were all going to be. They, I mean, but do you see? But nobody talks about that. Nobody sees it. 
Yeah. It's a child abduction whole Ring. scam yeah, yeah, that yeah. happened. That's just 15 that they luckily fucking stumbled upon. Yeah. There's like 980 left or so, you know, that are fucking on Oprah's other fucking island, like you said. <laughs> yeah. You know, right next door. Crazy, yeah, right? So. But I don't know. It's a, it's a what the fuck moment. See, you know John Fetterman, right? That big idiot with the hoodie. Yeah. Big clown in the Senate. Yeah. The big old guy always wears a hoodie. Big ball look like fucking Lurch from fucking <laughs> <laughs> the Adams family and shit. That motherfucker <laughs> just don't. He don't look right. He just doesn't look. He looks like Cro Magnum fucking weird man. <laughs> He seriously does. He's fucking. Anyway, they tried to. Uh, they passed some fucking deal where he can just continue on the Senate floor to wear to look like a fucking homeless victim, and it's like beyond me. So the standard is fucking thrown out because it's the fucking Senate floor. This is huge. This is like where shit gets done, and yeah. he wants to wear a hoodie and shorts. Do you agree with this? Absolutely not. Thank you. No, no. He's he's getting paid to do a job. Then, you know, I, I can't go to work in a hoodie and shorts. You know. Yeah, you I, I got to follow the rules. You got to follow the rules. Standard you have to follow, follow the rules. in the nursing. So he should follow the rules too. Hell, we're paying him. You know. So yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. It, it's just. It's just bizarre. It's bizarre. Um. Yeah, you know they're gonna do little towns. They're talking about for the the migrant situation, but yeah, I heard about that. No, they're not gonna stay in these. I mean, just even in Santa Rosa, they've been doing the little communities, you know, for the homeless <laughs> yeah. people. And now they're moving them because it's getting it's it's not it's yeah. not in a good situation. Yeah. So they're moving them and trying to incorporate into Los Gilicos and all those other things. You know, they're trying to incorporate. Can they take more? You know, and it's all these. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't work for our homeless already. I don't know how they think it's going to work for large amounts of migrants. Right? I don't know. Illegal aliens. You excited about, I know you are because you get geeked. Holidays are coming up. So like I said, Halloween, you probably, I know you guys are going to fucking 20 parties. Turkey Day. Yeah. We'll have our uh, Thanksgiving special. Yeah. Man, I looked at uh, a few years back at our Thanksgiving special <laughs> and our Christmas special that shit, you got to watch that. Go back and watch that. You will be in tears laughing. <laughs> I I fucking haven't seen that in fucking two and a half years. And, man, I was like, that shit was gold. <laughs> People, if you, if you want to just laugh, there's really no politics in it. Two guys who were nice and saucy for the holidays talking about <laughs> the most random shit. Go back on the Jambi show, Jambi Vision. And you'll see us too a few years ago when this whole thing got started, and it was, uh, and we're we're bringing the funny back, just like Timberlake. We're gonna, John's gonna add some Bring good back, good yeah. laughs also. Um, so yeah, well, brother, you gotta go see the Friday Night Lights, man. Do you even watch your daughter, or you just watch the game? Because I used to no, no, have yeah. to watch Megan. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, we watch our daughter, and I watch the game too. I mean, and actually, they're playing really good. They're, they've Played some really tough teams, and they they lost the first couple of games, but they also played teams that last year were CIF champions in their in their division, you know. So where they came from, so you know, and they came from a long way to play us, and so, was, and they're only losing by a couple of points. So you know, it, it shows that they're holding their own with some big big league people. And then, um, uh, who do you think screwed up there about like uh, a year ago? Well, Paul Cronin. Take it easy. That's my brother. I know, but he <laughs> screwed up, man. Paul's my brother. I know, I hey, know, but he um, made a big mistake leaving Windsor. I think. I think he was. He had a good. Oh, thing he's going. up in Utah. He's doing well up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're they're a blown out team, so uh, you might meet him. Might have to meet up. To Actually, work. we'll be meeting him tonight. We play Ukiah tonight. You are playing Polly. Yeah. Oh. No, no, I love Paul too. You know, good guy. But... If you see him, tell him I said hello. Oh, he'll be on the sideline, walking uh, around, looking like Lloyd, just yeah. without a cigarette. I, I saw a face. recent picture of him. Fuck, he got fat. <laughs> when you see him, say, "Hey, Artisero says you got fat." Yeah. I have no yeah. idea. But um, <laughs> but, um <laughs> anywho, 
that is a wrap for tonight. I want to thank uh, all the followers, listeners, everybody who loves the Jambi Show. Look out, because the Raiders are coming. I see they're coming through the border. Um, be good to one another. Hug each other. God bless you. America, we love you. We're out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ha. Ha.